Hi guys, I am Dr. Kang Stevens and you're watching Red TV. Feel the heat. My name is Ken Stevens, Dr. Ken Stevens. I'm a cinematographer, filmmaker. And, um, I'm a shareholder of um, CP, Cameron Face of Entertainment. That's my entertainment house or industry, you know. So we're into movies, we're into musical videos. Yeah. Instead. So, a sexy madu, I want your lolo. Hey, a sweet tamina, I want your lolo. Uh, fine, fine, fine lady, I want your lolo. Um, actually, uh, I've been in the industry for like 10, 11 years today, but I used to be a musician, I used to sing, I used to rap, I used to produce beats for people. So, like 2013, I just decided I, I always loved to, I always wanted to do visuals. Because I was in a group where we didn't have money, enough money to do music videos for ourselves. So I decided to start learning that so that I could, I could do music videos for ourselves. So that's how I decided I got the inspiration and I began to have the love for music videos. I've worked with a couple of artists. I've worked with um, the first person I always worked with, and the person that I got that the, the, the work I did got me to the limelight was Daphne. I, I did her first video, and that was what made that was the video that made people to know about me. I've worked with Wax Day. She's a Cameroonian, but it's mostly out of the country. And I've worked with Wax Day, and um, I did a song for Wax Day and um, K Switch, the Nigerian. I've worked with um, Eto Fizz on her on his promo on his um, match. Was it a friendly match or something? Yeah, I did a, I did an advert for that. I've worked with Stanley Yeno. I just recently worked with Stanley Yeno. Still to be out. I've worked with Michael Kisu. I've worked with um, Numerica. Worked with Ambi. Uh, I've worked with a lot of artists. Because any movies I've done, um, just short movies because I'm into action movies. But for now, I just want to keep my inspiration into short movies before getting them huge. So I've done a couple of short movies which are online on YouTube. Yeah. People don't resist unless they feel the need to. People fight when they feel oppressed and they feel suppressed. In my area, laws don't abide, so the street remains the street. The rich gets richer the more. I just, I just believe, I believe in a lot of, I believe in hard work, and when, you, when you're hard working, I believe that you, you, you get successful. I mean, yes, my works are good, but I want to get better, I want to get better and better. I mean, why not? I know the best in Africa, or the best in the world, in terms of music videos and films. So I really, I really see myself far in some years to come. Ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> equipment doesn't necessarily mean you have a good product. I mean, if you have the best equipment, it doesn't necessarily make you the best in the world or doesn't make you have a good product. I believe it's all about what's in your head, what, what's in, what you're about to do. I mean, the inspiration in you. Because, you know, there are people that can use Red Dragon and still do videos when you feel like it's shot on 5D. And there are people that can use 5D and do, and do a lot of work that you feel like was shot on Red. Even though the, 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 the um, details will never be the same. But it's all about the ideas, the creativity, then going out there, getting your right shots, coming back, doing a good edit, then doing a perfect color grading. I think with that, that's how someone can really, because it's, it's not just about the camera, you know, because we always know that, yeah, yeah, you, when your camera is good, you have good quality, but there's something more about the camera. There's a lot more to do about the camera, about how the person gets the shots right, how the person edits it, and how the person come up with a concept and color grade. I think that's the most important thing that, that um, anybody should look at, not the, 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 the quality of the camera, because, I know of, I've seen films that have been shot on even on iPhones and stuff like that and it's still good even on the um, Canon is it T, 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 I, some stuff and it's still good you, you when you watch them you don't even know you know so it's all about the professionality in you that's what I believe kids I think it's about time for you guys to get out get out yes ha. What's that money? I said. What's that money? Get out. What's that money? 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 What's money? we go through a lot of stress all the videos out there that people see that the audience see they appreciate them it, it makes us happy but they don't know what we went through are getting that video to that level because a lot of artists they don't pay, they don't have enough money you know we cannot compare with other countries when it comes to paying videos they pay a little but we try to make sure that we get that money usable and we get it for that video for that purpose you know like we can go to some locations we don't have enough money to get that location that we need we have to change our minds we have to go and start doing other stuff we you might you might need a certain equipment and you don't you don't have enough money to get it like most of us in fact all of us here when we're shooting outside we hardly use the 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 the, the, the re 5000 watt lights you know which I believe it's a very good quality light and when you shoot outside and you use the light it gives more details to your camera and more values to your camera but we don't have it you know unlike Nigerians they use it but we don't have it and if it's a bad day like a, a rainy day you don't you don't have um, a light and no sun for you you turn up having a very poor image in, in which when you go back to the studio to edit you have to do a lot of color grading and you lose a lot of details and at the end of the day you try to have a good image but it's not still it it shows that there was something lacking you know so we face a lot of difficulties but still we, we, we don't have any choice you know the camera industry is still growing I mean we, we have less artists out there that, that really gain a lot of money from videos and so the, I, I believe that if, the, if, if our artists are being paid well, we'll get to have enough money to do videos. I mean, and if we have enough money, we'll get to buy and bring more equipment for the industry. So it's, it's a chain, it's something like a chain, you know, when, when the artists are rich, we're going to be rich. <laughs> Clarence is my big bro. I've never met him before. I've never spoke to him before. I respect him a lot. You know, 2013, three years ago when I started directing videos, I always looked, I always looked up to his videos because. I felt like there was something different about him and I've always loved to be different. So uh, when people tell me now that I look like him and I sometimes, uh, some even write me on Facebook that you're the Clarice Peters of Cameroon, 
In some way, I feel proud, I feel happy, you know, because I mean, I'm getting to his level because he's a big brother, you know, he's good in what he does. I feel happy in some way and some other way I want to be different, you know, I don't want to be the Clarice Peters, I want to be the King Stevens. So I'm trying as much as possible to be different from him. The fact that I keep dress, I didn't keep it because of Clarice, I just keep it because that's what I like. I just like to be, I just like to be myself. I, I like to feel comfortable because that's important to me. I mean, feeling comfortable with my looks, you know. So all this is, is how I like to look, but it's great. It's great to feel that way. I mean, I know I still have more time to go, but it's great. <laughs> it's really great.